In, uh, in Promised Land, you write, our democracy seems to be teetering on the brink of a crisis. Since you wrote that, there was the, the attack on the Capitol. Yes. You got the, the big lie being pushed continually right. by not only the former president, but Republicans in Congress. Right. Are we still just teetering on the brink, or are we in crisis? Well, I, I, <laughs> uh, I, think, I think we have to worry when one of our major political parties is willing to embrace uh, a way of thinking about our democracy that uh, would be unrecognizable and unacceptable even five years ago or a decade ago. Um, when you look at some of the laws that are being passed uh, at the state legislative level, where legislators are basically saying, uh, we're going to take away the certification of election processes from civil servants, you know, secretaries of state, people who are just counting ballots, and we're going to put it in the hands of partisan legislatures who may or may not decide uh, that a state uh, uh, electoral votes should go to one person or another. Um, and when that's all done against the backdrop of large numbers of Republicans having been convinced wrongly that uh, there was something fishy about the last election, we've got a problem. And, and you know, this is part of the reason why uh, I think uh, the conversation around voting rights at a national level is important. This is why I think uh, conversations about some of the institutional and structural barriers to our democracy working better, like the elimination of the filibuster or uh, the end to partisan gerrymandering is important. But this is why it is also important for us to figure out how do we start once again being able to tell a common story about where this country goes. And I, that is not just the job of politicians, although I think elected officials have an important role. That's where the media is going to have to play an important role. Uh, that is where companies have to play an important role. Uh, you know, uh, all of us as citizens have to recognize that um, the path towards uh, uh, an undemocratic America is not going to happen in just one bang. It's, it happy, happens in a series of steps. And when you look at what's happened in places like Hungary and in Poland, that obviously did not have the same traditions, democratic traditions that we did. They weren't as, as deeply rooted. Um, and yet, as recently as uh, 10 years ago, uh, were functioning democracies and now uh, essentially have become and, uh, Democracy doesn't always die in a military coup. Yes. Democracy dies at the ballot box. That's exactly right. And, and, and you know, Vladimir Putin gets uh, elected with a majority of Russian voters. But uh, none of us would claim that that's the kind of democracy that we want.